Bonjour, Year 9, and welcome to Lesson 6 of the Summer Term and your final lesson of the week. Your focus again today will be on Ma Ville, my town. And here's a, a list of everything you'll need for today's lesson. You will need the exercise book that the school gave you, a pen and a ruler, your knowledge organiser for Module 5, which you can just open in a different window, and wordreference.com, which is the online dictionary um, that can be opened again in a different tab, a different window. Pause to get your things together and press play again. OK, please remember to email me if you've got any questions at all about today's activities and also if you would like to receive an achievement point. And there is my email address. I hope to hear from you. OK, year nine. So don't forget to write your date in French, jeudi 30 avril, so Thursday the 30th of April, and the title, je vais au cinéma, I go to the cinema, and underline those, please. Also write your objective, l'objectif, and states to describe your town. So press pause to do that and play to continue. OK, your do no activity. Uh, pour commencer, traduire. So to start with, translate. I want you to copy the English sentences down in your exercise book and then translate them into French. As simple as that. Pause now to do that and then just press play to get the answers. OK, your correction. Uh, numéro 1. Il y a un cinéma près du théâtre. OK, for this one, I want you to make sure you've got your accent on cinéma. And then after près, you have du. OK, près du. Near the. Um, then also make sure you've got your accents on théâtre correctly as well. Numéro 2. Il y a une piscine à côté de la patinoire. OK, make sure you've got de la after à côté because the ice ring is feminine, so you need de la after it. And make sure you've got your accents on a and côté. Trois, il y a une plage dans le centre commercial. Uh, nothing there to note. And il y a des magasins derrière le café. So you just need your accent on derrière and on café as well. Well done, year nine, if you got all of those right. Now I'm going to pass over to Mr. Bolis and he's going to finish the lesson with you. And I look forward to our lessons next week. So have a good weekend. Have a good lesson. Au revoir. So let's make a start about um, today's lesson, which is describing where you go when you go to town. So you're used to it now. I'm going to read you a series of phrases. Can you please repeat them after me? Je vais au cinéma. Je vais au café. Je vais au théâtre. Je vais au centre commercial. Je vais au bowling. Je vais à l'église. Je vais à la plage. Je vais à la boîte de nuit. Je vais à la patinoire. Et je vais au magasin. Well done. Uh, excellent pronunciation. So, what I want you to do um, now is to pay a bit of attention to the sentences you've got on there. Now, the vocabulary is very familiar because this is what we did yesterday, so there's nothing new there. But um, some of you would have already noticed that in front of all the masculine places, you've got or, in front of the, all the feminine ones, you've got a la, and magazines got a-u-x in front of it, which is also pronounced o because it's plural. And there's one new sentence today, which is number six, and I've deliberately changed that one um, because eglis start with a vowel. So in that case, you don't put O or A la, or O A U X, you put A and then L apostrophe. And that's the only new thing for today's lesson. Those 
prepositions with o a la a l apostrophe and o a u x. So next, I want you to write down the French in your exercise book and match it up with English, which is now on the screen. You can press pause and press play again when you're ready to check your work. So here is the correction to the first activity. Numéro 1, je vais au cinéma, is of course I go to the cinema, that was your title. Je vais au café, I go to the coffee shop. Je vais au théâtre, I go to the theater. Now, once again, can you please make sure that all the accents are in the right place on théâtre? Je vais au centre commercial, I go to the shopping center. Je vais au bowling, I go to the bowling alley. Je vais à l'église, I go to church or the church. Je vais à la plage, I go to the beach. Je vais à la boîte de nuit, I go to the nightclub. Je vais à la patinoire, I go to the ice rink. And je vais au magasin, I go to the shops. Excellent work so far, Yenai. Yeah, nice. For our next activity, we're going to practice uh, using Quizlet again. So, um, I put the same screen as yesterday, however, the link has now changed, and what we find on class charts is also a different link. Um, can you please spend time completing the activities Learn, Write and Spell? And when you're ready, uh, complete the test and send me a screenshot of your score. You can now press pause and press play again when you're ready to move on to the next activity. So for our next activity, we will be building sentences. But before we do that, let's have a look at uh, what's on your screen. So the first column is all about time and different time phrases when you do this ac these activities. The following one is um, a verb, which is mainly je vais and je ne vais pas. So I go or I do not go, or I am going, I am not going. It's exactly the same in French. The third column are your prepositions, which we talked about earlier. You o, a la, a, l apostrophe, and o, a, u, x. And the last column should be familiar because they are the places. Now, please note that église, I put it in a different one, even if it's a feminine um, place, start with a vowel, so you've got that a l apostrophe in front of it. Okay, now what I want you to do, I want you to write numbers 1 to 7 in your exercise book, and when you're ready, press play again, and we'll start making sentences. So, let's go. I'm now going to read you a sentence from the board, well, from the screen, and then what I want you to do, I want you to write it down in your exercise book. I read it in French, you write it down in French. Numéro 1. Aujourd'hui, je vais au cinéma. Numéro 2. Demain, je vais à la patinoire. Numéro 3. Après-demain, je vais à l'église. Numéro 4. Ce matin, je ne vais pas au café. Okay, now I'm going to read them in English. I want you to write them in French. Numéro 5. This afternoon, I am not going to the theatre. Numéro 6. Tonight, I'm going to the shops. Numéro 7. Today, I'm going to the beach.
Okay, well done, Year 9. Let's have a look at what you should have written. And this is what you should have written in your exercise book. Numéro 1, aujourd'hui, je vais au cinéma. Numéro 2, demain, je vais à la patinoire. Numéro 3, après demain, je vais à l'église. Make sure you've got that L apostrophe followed by E with accent. Sometimes one of them is but not there, or you're merging the two together. Numéro 4, ce matin, je ne vais pas au café. 5, was cet après-midi, je ne vais pas au théâtre. Accents on théâtre, double check. Ce soir, je vais au magasin. And the last one was, aujourd'hui, je vais à la plage. Well done, if you got them all right, it's not an easy exercise. So for our next activity, you're going to be a bit creative. What I want you to do, I want you to write down your own sentences uh, talking about you know, what you're doing today or tomorrow or the day after tomorrow and telling me what places you are going to or actually not going to. You can now press pause and press play again when you've got written those five sentences and the English next to it. So for our final activity, I'm going to read you a text. I want you to follow the text while I'm reading it. And because after that, you will have to read it yourself. So let's go. Aujourd'hui, c'est mon anniversaire. Ce matin, je vais au bowling avec mon frère. Cet après-midi, je vais au café à 16h avec ma grand-mère. Le café est dans le centre commercial. Ce soir, je vais à la patinoire à 19h. Et puis, je vais au cinéma avec mes parents. Le cinéma est en face du théâtre, près de la piscine. Ok, if you want to listen to it one more time, you can rewind and then listen to me reading it. When you feel confident, you can do it on your own. Can you please read the text out loud? You can now press pause, read the text and press play again for our next activity. So finally, what I want you to do is to translate this text into English. Press pause, write it down in your exercise book and then press play again. So let's see what you found with your correction. I'm going to take you through sentence by sentence. Number one was, today it is my birthday. So don't forget that comma and then it is after. Um, if you didn't have the comma, you can just write today is my birthday. But actually the comma forces you to put it is. Next sentence. This morning, I am going to the bowling alley with my brother. Numéro 3. This afternoon, I am going to the coffee shop at 4 p.m. with my grandmother. The next one. The coffee shop is in or inside the shopping centre. Both are okay. Numéro 5. Tonight, I am going to the ice rink at 7 p.m. And then, I am going to the cinema with my parents. And the last one was, the cinema is opposite the theater near the swimming pool. So if you got them all right, well done. If there are a few mistakes, press pause and press play again when you're ready to listen to your final activity, which is going to be your quizzes. So for activity six, uh, you've got a link as well on class charts to complete your weekly quiz checking on everything we talked about for the last two lessons. As usual, you will need to enter your name when completing a quiz. Uh, the quiz. Please make sure that you use your working high school username. It's easier for me to see who's completed it, or for Miss Atkinson as well to check who's done it or not. Thank you very much for your hard work, Year 9, and I can't wait to receive pictures of all the classwork you've done. Au revoir!